Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs, or the end of the month, sorry. Love readings. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of March going into April in regards to your love life. Pisces. Okay. Your first card here is the Queen of Swords. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Your next card here, the obstacle, what's currently influencing you from being able to move forward is the Seven of Swords. Okay, so I see you guys very much in your head, Pisces. For some of you guys, it could be that shit is just not adding up. Um, now, with the Seven of Swords, there is, it's almost like you keep forgiving someone for lying to you when you know clearly or you feel clearly that they're not being completely honest with you. Now, with the Queen of Swords, there is a need for you to really listen to your head, Pisces. Don't listen to your heart. Don't follow your heart. Pay attention. Be methodical when it comes to, um, as an example, if your partner usually gets off of work at a specific time, all of a sudden, the past two months, they've been getting home extremely late, um, whatever that situation is and when you bring up that conversation they quickly change the conversation or they get offended by it. it this is telling you something and you need to pay attention to that pisces you need to stop closing your eyes at the signs that the universe or spirit is giving to you now your past and passing position is the knight of cups i feel the knight of cups is coming up in the reverse position so this could symbolize feeling like they're just not putting effort or they're not uh, coming through with their promises. They're not really uh, changing if they say they're going to change or they're not really. It's almost like I love you, but in the reverse position, I love you, but that I love you is very hollow. So again, it's about paying attention to the signs, paying attention to how they are on a practical level showing you that they care it's not just about me telling you i care for you and my following through with showing you on every single day basis that i genuinely care for you um and if this is something that you're ignoring then what spirit is telling you is you yourself are fooling yourself you're not being you're not wanting to see things clearly for what they are so it could even represent making excuses for the partner without realizing that that's what you're doing now what you have unfolding before you or i should say in the near future is the 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 wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune speaks about times that are changing but could also represent um being led almost through circumstances to find out the truth or to see the reality of the situation in regards to this partnership now, what's on your mind is the Ten of Wands, a lot of stress, a lot of burdens, feeling like uh, you're carrying on this load or you're carrying on this relationship solely by yourself. Um, for some of you guys, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, uh, this could represent feeling like you're having some type of either financial situation or feeling like your partner's not doing enough to help you on a financial level. And you're starting to feel the burden or the stress of being able to or trying to catch up to either bills, trying to catch up to uh, situations in the family dynamic, that type of energy. Now, the Hermit card is what's unfolding before you. So for those of you guys that are dealing with this type of energy of a feeling like they're not being honest, they're not being transparent, um, the Hermit card could represent getting to the point of having to step back from the situation or even having some time apart. Uh, and I feel that this is necessary for those of you guys dealing with this situation. Now, you have the King of Wands here, and this is your advice card. So as an advice card, the King of Wands is telling you, you need to believe more in yourself, Pisces. You need to stop settling uh, or allowing people to mistreat you because you feel like they've been through a lot you know, they've gone through a lot and maybe they're just not ready to commit. Maybe they're not ready to be honest. What they're telling you is 
stop making excuses for their behavior if their behavior is mistreating you or taking you for granted pisces you got to have more faith and more love in yourself yeah the next card here is the three of swords i'm not surprised um we go back to that of feeling like you're carrying on this relationship on yourself or on your own even though you're in a relationship, feeling like you're alone when you have a partner. The Three of Swords speaks about a third party type of energy or the partner stepping out of the relationship and the lies starting to add up or starting to catch up to him or her, depending on, uh, it is a general reading, yeah. Okay, so this is not the best reading for Pisces, um, but I definitely do see yeah and then with 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 the the wheel of fortune anything that's been hidden anything that's been kept in the dark is definitely coming out to light and you will quickly find out either that the person that you're dealing with has been cheating on you or stepped out of the relationship with the tower i feel this already has happened or you're currently going through this but it's like all the lies and everything that they've kind of tried to keep hidden is definitely coming out to the open and you need to address it. You have two options, Pisces, in this situation. One, you put up with it and you forgive them and just expect it to come back around again because how you allow people to treat you is exactly what you put up with is exactly what you're teaching people to how to treat you. So if this is something which is obviously dealing with a person that is not being genuine or honest with you you forgive them for whatever is coming out in the open they will do this again pisces so like i said what they're saying is you have two options either you put up with this and just accept that you're going to continuously keep putting up with this or you love yourself enough to make your destiny completely change by not allowing people to take advantage of you by redirecting your path even if it means that it comes at a cost of an ending of a relationship because this relationship was based off of lies now this may not resonate with everyone like i said it is a general reading but if you are dealing with this situation pisces what they're telling you here is with the with the hermit card, you got to go within. You got to find out why you allow people to treat you this way. And if this is something that has never happened and it's coming out to the open, love yourself enough, Pisces, to walk away from what is not working for you. Because I feel that this is unexpected, so it's definitely going to come out of left field. Love yourself enough, Pisces, to walk away from what's not working for you anymore. Stop sacrificing your happiness, creating or excusing people's behaviors because they've been through difficulties. Guess what? We've all been through difficulties and it doesn't give me the right to treat someone like shit. Or it doesn't give me the right to cheat on someone because I've been cheated in the past. It's about healing, learning, healing, and moving on, making us to the best version of ourselves, not to make us worse. So if you are dealing with this type of energy, like I said, whatever, whatever decision you make moving forward from now, moving forward is what you're teaching them that it's okay for you or for them to treat you this way because you will allow it. I hope this gives you guys some insight some understanding. I hope that it gives you the courage that you need. And I wish you guys the very best. We'll see each other soon. Bye.